Good morning everyone, welcome to another vlog of ours. This morning, this is me. This is what I look like. It is like seven o'clock, seven o'clock, and I look like this at seven o'clock. But this morning we're going to make some breakfast because I'm hungry at seven o'clock. So while I'm having my tea and while I'm doing my makeup, I will show you a quick overdue of what I do for my makeup every time I decide to put makeup on. Right now I'm looking a little bit scary because I'm one dimensional and I hate that. So makeup is done and we are heading out. Today we're going to the amazing town of Fremantle. I haven't been there. Last time I went was with Jason and my brother. So now today I'm going with my sister. Now the only thing I need to do is try and get my son in the car because he just wants to go to the mailbox and find mail in there. But we don't have any because it's Saturday and yesterday was a public holiday. Bye mum, see you on Fremantle. Bye bye mum. We just got to Fremantle. My sister's just arrived now and it was funny, I was just sitting here looking at houses. It's something that I like to do when I'm like early or when someone's running late. I like to just pop onto the realestate.com and just look at houses in the area that are for sale. If only it was that easy just to sell our house and buy a new one. And in this area, I would love it, but it'd be sick so expensive. But we're going to head into the markets and do some shopping. We literally have only been home for a couple of minutes. Frederick is asleep in his bed, which means I get to sit down and have some lunch. So I'm actually having some leftovers. I'm just heating it up really quickly. I'm just going to have um, some pasta that we had the other night. So that's what I'm having for lunch. Frederick will have his lunch when he wakes up. So happy I went to Fremantle. It was really nice and relaxing. It was just chilled out with my sister, which was really nice. Ended up getting some vegan donuts from the markets, which was really good because I needed to get um, like donuts or a little cake um, for Frederick's birthday on Tuesday so I got some donuts and they're in the freezer now because obviously I have to keep them for like three days so they're popped into the freezer so I can like defrost them when it comes to actually having them. I also got the little kite that you guys saw Frederick play with. This guy was just flying the kites like near us and I went over to see how much they were and the kite was only five dollars so I was just like let's grab it and let's let him fly and he loved it as you saw he absolutely loved it but now we're home obviously I'm getting lunch I'm gonna sit down just chill out edit some photos watch some TV do some washing and yeah that's about it until Frederick wakes up time to come outside before the Sun goes down and get some vitamin D and play in hey there's rubbish in my house who's putting rubbish in my house Rubbish in my backyard. But um, what was I going to say? It's time to play before the sun goes down, and I need to let Frederick burn some energy because he just needs some more energy burn. green crocodile and the croc went snap 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 but we all know crocs 
go. Hula, 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 hula. So I thought while we're not really doing much, I would ask on my Instagram, you guys to ask me a bunch of random weird ass questions that I could answer in a vlog. So here we are. And this is a random spot to be doing a Q&A, but right now I do not care. I want to be spending as much time as I possibly can outside because it's really nice today. Okay, so I've got a bunch of questions and we're going to get straight into this. So first question is, what color hair did I think Frederick was going to have while I was pregnant? Well, I thought he was going to come out a redhead. <laughs> Lo and behold, he came out a baldy. Um, but I thought he was going to have red hair. I still am a little bit upset that he doesn't have red hair. I really want a kid of ours to come out with red hair. Um, I still hope one day his hair goes red. <laughs> but I know there's probably a very low chance of that ever happening. Ever consider or considering coloring your hair? I went through a stage when I was like 17, 16, 17, where I really wanted brown hair. I really wanted to dye my hair brown, but my family are very persistent with me keeping my red hair. And I'm kind of glad I never dyed my hair because I absolutely love my red hair now. But there's still some days where I'm just like, I really just want to color it brown. Or even like, I don't know, lately I've been really, really loving the look of jet black hair. Obviously I would never pull off jet black hair, but I love the look of jet black hair and thick black eyebrows. Oh, what room are we going to renovate next? The next thing on my list is Frederick's playroom. What kind of work am I applying for? At the moment I'm applying for really anything. I just want to get myself in the door at the moment, but I'm mainly applying for childcare and aged care. Do you believe mermaids are real? Do you believe in mermaids? He's not going to answer that question, but I kind of yeah, feel mom, like... Yeah, mom, yeah, mom. Oh, this is weird. Kind of, but also not kind of. Well, so far that's all the questions I have got given. So, that is our little mini tiny Q&A. Time to get up now and go back inside. Because I'm actually chilly. I would really like to sit on my hammock right now. But the sun is in a weird position where if I did, this is what I would look like. I love the sun in my eyes. Oh, it's so nice. No, it's not. So I can't sit on my hammock right now because the sun is just like right there. It's dinner time and it means I have to cook something because it obviously it's dinner time. I was actually talking to Jason on the phone today and I was just like, I feel really lazy. Like I'm such a lazy cooker at the moment. Like I just feel really unmotivated to cook dinner. And he's just like, you've got those new vegan sausages in the freezer. Why don't you try those out with like some mash and roast veggies and all this kind of stuff. So I was just like, thank you that's all i needed for someone to give me an idea on what i can cook for tea because i've literally been a very lazy cook at the moment and i'm not feeling motivated at all to do any cooking but jason just telling me kind of what to do i'm just like okay that sounds like a great dish let's do that so i'm using my new vegan sausages i've never tried vegan sausages before so I'm a little bit nervous to try them, but I've heard really good things about them. So I'm giving these bad boys a go. These are from Linda McCarthy and they are red onion and rosemary sausages. They look amazing. Hopefully they taste amazing. And I'm also going to obviously give these to Frederick and I'm hoping he really likes them too. And they don't go to waste. Want to know what real mum life looks like? It looks like this. My child is refusing to eat his dinner. Like, no joke, he's had one mouthful of mashed potato and that is it. This is what mum life looks like. Sitting down on the dining table, letting Frederick watch his TV shows, just waiting for him to have at least five more mouthfuls. Oh, once again, Frederick is not eating his dinner. I don't know what's happening to my child. This lighting is really bad because it's night time now. But once again, my child has become fussy. It's irritating me a lot. I don't know why he's gone off on and off of his fussy stage, but lately he's been really good, amazing. And then the last couple of days, he's just been, he's had it. Like he doesn't even care about food. It's funny, throughout the day, he's such a good eater. Like he will eat like 
avocado from like the actual avocado like heaps of watermelon like chickpeas and nuts and seeds and everything like that and when it comes to dinner time he just doesn't want to eat anymore like he normally would eat so much but now at dinner time he's just not even fussed but if it's like a sandwich he will eat it I'm just thinking when it gets to dinner time he's just not that hungry because he's eaten so much throughout the day and he's just not that hungry at night is anyone else who has kids around Frederick's age are they are they the same like they will eat heaps and really good throughout the day but when it comes to dinner time they don't even want to touch it even though it's like one of their favorite meals they still do not want to touch it I'm just wondering if it's still like a phase he's going through or he's actually just not hungry. I have a feeling he's just not hungry at night time that much compared to what he is during the day. Obviously because he's burning a lot more energy through the day and at night time he just doesn't need it because he's going to go to sleep. I'm feeling like that. But I want to know guys, is this just normal? Is he just not hungry? Or is it actually just a fussy state? I guess this all comes down to me still being a first time mum and still learning things every single day. Every single day is completely different to the last one. And every single day, I swear I learn something new about being a mum. At the moment, most of the things I am learning is about toilet training or what Frederick will and won't eat. I swear that's just toddler life. It's just the stage we're in at the moment, but literally that's all our life is consumed, is toilet training and if Frederick will eat what I give him. You know what? It is time for me and Frederick to have our shower because I stink. Frederick definitely needs a shower after running around in dirt today. Turn around. Two. your shower? Yeah, I'm sure Yeah, you feel better after your shower. Look how cute you are in your little outfit. So cute. So it has come to that time of the night where we are going to say goodbye. Freddie's going to come sit down. Sit down. Sit down. He decided to take off his dressing gown. He didn't really want oh, yeah, it. Yeah, oh. But we're going to say goodbye because it is past 7 o'clock and it is wind down time for us. So we're going to clean up the mess. The mess that Frederick has done today so we can start winding down but we hope you all enjoyed today's vlog it was really fun i really enjoyed today it was so much better than yesterday yesterday i was just having a really 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 bad day so today was a lot better than yesterday but i just want to say if you enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up and maybe hit that subscribe button but we'll see you guys all next time bye, bye. <laughs> see you guys